hello students in this video we shall be learning two more quantities two more concepts thrust and pressure now what is thrust in order to understand that let us take the example of an object let's say there is an object rectangular in shape and uh, you are being asked to apply force on it so you can apply force from any random direction from here also from here also this way this way in any random way force can be applied on this particular object all right we are not concerned about all these forces rather we are going to discuss about the forces that are perpendicular to a surface so if this is the object and this is the surface this force which is at 90 degree to it is the perpendicular force and this perpendicular forces are given special name and they are called thrust okay so what is basically thrust the thrust is a force in perpendicular direction i hope it is clear now thrust is nothing but force but in perpendicular direction okay now let's say this is a surface and you are applying a perpendicular force or thrust on it p is the thrust okay let's say this is another surface and you are applying the same t on it so here your area is a1 let's say area of the surface and here let's say area is a2 obviously so a2 is greater than a1 so my question is is the thrust t going to have same effect on a1 and a2 no right so what i'm trying to say is that the effect of the thrust t will change why it change because the area of the surface has changed okay to express this entire situation we have to introduce a new term that is called the pressure now what is pressure then pressure is thrust per area so if this is the suppose surface this is a thrust okay so let's say my area of the surface is 100 meter square okay and suppose i am applying a thrust of suppose 500 newton force it is a force right newton is the unit so my pressure will be 500 newton is my thrust and uh, 100 meter square is my area so this will be 5 newton per meter square it? so si unit si unit of pressure is newton per meter square however there is a trick we don't normally use this rather in memory of the scientist blaise pascal who discovered this concept we write the si unit of pressure as pascal symbolically P A, right? So instead of writing five newton per meter square, we are going to write five pascal. Clear? So we have learned the concept of thrust. Thrust is the perpendicular force, and what is pressure? Thrust per area. Okay. This is an extremely important concept. This has very interesting as huge implications in daily life. In the next video, we shall be discussing all those applications.